take the lead and respond to the questions regarding CST data and your class performance and your grade level performance as well. Okay. What worked, what was effective, what you would do differently, and next steps for yourself as a leader mm -hmm. and as a practitioner in the classroom, next steps for your team. Absolutely, and okay. I can prepare for that too. I know you did. Because uh, they kind of go hand in hand, especially with only having three team members this year. You know, my practice really relates into the work that we're going to do as a team, I think, Correct, too. correct. So um, the first thing that I thought was really amazing was this report, the score band graph that you can get off Data Director. So have you seen this before? I have. So what it is is basically it's the same group of students I worked with last year, but this is their second, third, fourth, and then now fifth grade results. And so it was really striking to me. The math, of course, I moved a lot more students in math than I even anticipated. Mm -hmm. um, I had several students that were basic students that actually made it to proficient that I was not certain at the end of the year, even though of all the interventions we put in place, whether they would make it or not. And I didn't anticipate the fourth graders that are coming into fifth grade are already going to be a lot more data savvy um, just because of the work that I, I believe was taken on last year at an individual level. Excellent point. So I think the video will look and the kids' behaviors will be different um, to drive that PD, basically. Excellent. So so if I look at this, um, I, I some kids picked advanced and I was like, well, okay, so let's make your goal advanced, but I would really be pleased if you maintained because fifth grade standards are more rigorous than fourth grade. Mm -hmm. And so when I look at this, and this is my English language arts, I believe. Yes. If they're in green, it means that they met their goal, meaning that they maintained. So it's kind of like they wanted to be advanced, but if they maintained proficient, I considered them meeting their goal because okay. I knew what was coming and could anticipate that. Okay. So all the students that are in green met the goal that I expected them to be at. And if they have a plus sign next to it, it means that they actually um, they changed bands. So Abdullahi, his goal was to be, um, I remember. remember Abdullahi? Yes, I do. <laughs> there are maybe two or three in each classroom, two or three of the students who had seemed to be making growth, but when it came to the actual CST, mm -hmm. we didn't have the shorter cycles of monitoring. Yeah. And it goes back to your reflection, the daily exit slips to make sure we hit it in every lesson, every day to make sure that these three or four aren't falling yeah. and slipping between. We're looking at the intervention efficacy, what, what, what was effective about that intervention, because now we have a group of third graders and fourth grade that are in need. They can replicate that same process. Yeah, most likely, yeah. Okay. I would think so, looking at the fourth grade standards and just providing them that extra writing time. Targeted intervention. That his okay. parents really have to push him, like his homework's finished because his parents make sure it's finished. Right. And um, and I I was so working with other students that I was more concerned with that he kind of flew below my radar. So what's your plan to address that? I think your plan and your team's plan. Holding on to the work you did last year. Yes. And that, and that's what I need. To, I'm reiterating to everybody, every teacher is it, what we're doing is working. Mm -hmm. So how do we hold on to the pra best practices that are effective? So the plan we have with, is to implement AR. Okay. So first, then to go back and label with that language. So it will support your work with these instructional units you developed last year. Now thinking about this year's students coming in to you, reflecting back on their performance and your team's goal setting. I know you already took your team through several meetings on what goals to set, yeah, yes. how many students per class, mm -hmm. the three classrooms, the three fifth grade classrooms what their goals are, and how many students they need to move to reach your grade level SMART goal. You already did that work. So let's talk about the strand and the area of focus that you, as a leader, want to take your team through. Well, when we reflected about our results and looked back at our work, we were really pleased because written conventions, we are at 79.7, and written strategies, we are at 71%. So we think we're attributing that and the very focused support and intervention we got after Benchmark 1 with the reading teachers that came in and created, you know, like basically what they were trying to do is recreate writing experiences for kids because we didn't have that. What's the role of the principal in your school with what you do in teaching? I think it's about making the numbers and the data transparent and that is the rationale then is that this is the reality, this is what this data means, this is what it represents. 
and that the numbers have faces. And she is so good at then translating that, that reality and the data, into a call to action and a vision. And, um, and she doesn't just abandon it. Like I, I've had experiences in the past where a principal's like, this is what we're gonna do. But then it's never really supported or scaffold for teachers to make that accessible.